Hey, what's up? This is DTJ reminding you to like, subscribe, and shop on my store at daddyteacherpan.com. Today, we're going to be going over 10 tips that you could use while using public transportation and taxis while visiting Japan. These tips can easily help you find your way and get to where you need to go and help you if you're in a bind. These are not ranked in any particular order. Let's start out at number 10. If you are flying in to Haneda Airport and you're trying to get to Tokyo, your best bet is to get to the Yamanote line. This line services major districts in Tokyo to include, but not limited to, Shibuya, Shinjuku, Akihabara, Harajuku. You can get there via the monorail as soon as you enter Haneda Airport or by using the KQ line, which is located on floor B1. If you do use the KQ line, you'll want to get to Shinagawa train station and connect to the Yamanote line from there. Number 9. Buses are another great way to get around in Japan, getting you access to places that trains just can't reach. But when boarding a bus in Japan, 90% of the time, you're going to be getting on from the rear door and not the front door. Riders board from the rear and exit through the front. Number 8. Another good helpful tip is that when boarding a bus in Japan, you'll want to grab a small paper ticket from the machine in the back or swipe your PASMA or Suica card or what have you on the reader near the door before sitting down. Then when you exit, you'll swipe your pass card again on the reader in the front or drop your paper ticket in the coin counter with your fare. Number 7. When boarding a train in Japan, you'll want to line up. Don't block doors so people can't get out. You could be on the left side of the door or the right side of the door. Don't just walk up to the door because you'll be cutting a line in front of everyone or be in someone's way as they're trying to leave the train. 6. Trains in Japan stop running around midnight. This is nationwide. There may be some trains that pick up stragglers 15 or 20 minutes after, but rest assured that the station will be closed, the shutters will be down on shops and even the station. Now on New Year's Eve, they do operate all night, so that's cool. <laughs> Number five, and while we're talking about trains and New Year's Day, this one's a little dark, but very true. If you're traveling by train on New Year's Day, you'll likely encounter a train that has stopped because someone has jumped on the tracks. This happens all throughout the year at random times on random lines, but on New Year's Day, it's more prominent. More lines are affected at the same time due to drunk men or women either accidentally falling on the tracks or intentionally falling on the tracks. Either way, you can be stuck on the train for an hour or more. It's happened to me before, so just be aware. Number four, you might not have known this, but Narita Airport is not actually in Tokyo, it's in Chiba. You can also get to Narita Airport from the Keiku line, which is my favorite line by the way. If you time it just right, you can get all the way to Narita Airport from the Keiku line without even having to transfer. Personally, I recommend Haneda Airport to friends and family flying in instead of Narita. Narita does have the Narita Express that can get you to Tokyo proper, but you'll have to get a ticket from the NEX counter for the signed seat or no seat ticket. 3. If you're thinking about traveling to Okinawa, you should know that there are no trains there. You'll have to rent a car. And if you can't rent a car, you'll have to rely on buses and taxis. There is a monorail, but it operates in Naha only, so it won't be able to get you to beaches, uh, your hotel, if it's not in the Naha area and it won't be able to get you up in areas up north like Churumi Aquarium, Raikon Mall, etc. So keep that in mind if you want to go to Okinawa, and I do recommend it, it is gorgeous. If you're a parent and traveling with small children and you have to bring your baby stroller, train aisles might not be big enough. So your best bet is to get on at the front of the train on the first car. There is space for wheelchair passengers that you can use to park your stroller with the kids in it. That way they are safe and not moving around, running up and down the aisles <laughs> like my kids try to, and you're out of the way. Number one, if you are ever in a taxi and you need to explain to the taxi driver where you are going, especially when you already know how to get there, you can use these keywords like masugu, meaning straight, hidari, meaning left, migi, meaning right, ushido, meaning behind you, shingo, meaning stoplight, kado, meaning corner and Coco, meaning here. Use these keywords to help navigate your way to your destination. If they are not sure how to get there, it could save you a lot of pain. Trust me, I've been there. Use these tips when traveling Japan. They will help you get around a lot easier and prevent a lot of issues when traveling. That's my time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and shop at my store. I'm DTJ, thanks for watching. See you on the next one, DTL.